Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about tithing. Most people associate tithing with the church and it really did not originate in the church. It originated in England as a tax on the land and the tax on the land is what supported the king and queen of the land. So good old King James came along. Yeah, he's the one who modified the Bible to the version we now know and he thought taxes should be taxes and people should give to the church as well. So in today's term, tithing really means the old term. It's supporting other people in the way that they could not support themselves. Tithing does not have to mean that you give to your church. It can mean that you give to a cause that's near and dear to your heart. And Yes, tithing is money. Yes, if you don't have money, tithing can be donating your time. But I have found in my life, and many of my friends have found in their life, that tithing works. Not that you tithe to get more money from God, but you tithe, as one writer had put, till it hurts. You have to feel the pinch. Because when you feel the pinch, God feels the pinch. And God goes, oh, you're going outside of your box. You're trying to do something. You're trying to help me. You're trying to help other people. So here, I'll make sure you have enough. i give you a cute little example for myself. Um, this time of year, my clients are very generous. Um, I get gift cards from many different people. And one of them sent me a gift card for Target and well how do you tie the gift card it's kind of difficult I can't give out of the gift card so I have to give above and beyond the gift card so gift card for what was for a hundred dollars I had ten dollars in my wallet so when I walked into Target there was Salvation Army guess what Salvation Army got the ten dollars because that's what I felt propelled to do the next day, I get a call from a friend who wants to tithe to me. I didn't know anybody would want to tithe to me. But do you see, it doesn't matter who or where you tithe to, it's that you do. It's that you think of others just as you think of yourself. And for lack of a better phrase, it's what makes the world go around. Money's what makes the world go around but in a good way, not a negative way. And the reason we're here is to help each other. I mean, that is the, the number one purpose of us being here. The second purpose is to learn our lessons, become better souls. And if we're not helping each other, it, and we all need money, there are so many organizations that need your $10. And you might not think, Oh, I'm not going to send them $5. I'm not going to send them $10. That's ridiculous. Well, then you're not going to remember them when you can send $20. Because what happens is people get, their digits get bigger, and they forget. They forget that they're supposed to be taking care of other people as well. God didn't bless you just to go out and buy things. God blessed you so you would have enough for yourself and others. So... Look at tithing in a different way. There are several good books out there on tithing. You can look it up on the internet. There is a very small tithing book that the author of um, Chicken Soup for the Soul wrote. You, I, Sorry, I don't know who he is off the top of my head. You can Google it and find out. It's a very inexpensive six, five, four dollar book. And it explains so easily how important tithing is and that we do want to support each other and you know if you if you belong to a church you want your church to be there and your church isn't going to be there unless you could help your church um, I tithe where I feel called to tithe I don't necessarily tithe to the same place all the time certain times of the year I do certain organizations I do but you know sometimes it's Go put the money in the Salvation Army bin. Or you need to you need to donate to this church, even though you don't belong. They need your ten bucks. So 
Look outside of yourself. See where you can help. And just and you have to believe that God will take care of you. I think this is the biggest thing people get stuck on. They have fear. They're like, well, if I give away my last five bucks, how am I know I'm going to have five bucks? I'll give you a huge example. Yesterday, I only had ten bucks in my wallet. And I gave it to the Salvation Army. And you know what? Last night, I took a friend to the airport. And when I got back in my car, there was $50. Because it would have cost her that much to go to the airport from where she lived. Instead, I drove her. She didn't have to do that. But God told her to do that. Because I help others. And yes, part of that money will be tithed again. It's every money that comes in, how much can you give out? To me, 10% is the minimum. And really, sometimes 10% hurts. But remember, when it hurts, God's listening. So do your best. Even if it's the homeless guy in the street who says hungry, will work for food. Go drive through McDonald's and get him a Happy Meal. Whatever. You can do something to make a difference. Just think outside of yourself. Ciao.